Hello everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to my Infinite Caps and XP Guide for Fallout New Vegas. This guide will showcase two methods that will work together to allow you to have infinite caps and XP. Be aware that if you play New Vegas on PC and you have mods installed, note that JIP LN NVSC plugin, Johnny Guitar NVSC and Yukichi Guy's unofficial patch mods will patch these exploits so you will need to disable them if you want to use these methods. As always there are timestamps in the description if you wish to skip to a particular section but without further ado let's get into the video. First up is the Good Springs Joe Cobb exploit. This exploit can be done at the very start of the game. After leaving Dot Mitchell's house and finishing the tutorial with Sunny Smiles, enter the saloon and you will see Trudy and Joe Cobb arguing. After he leaves the saloon, follow him and offer to help him take over Good Springs. What the hell for? Just farmers and ranchers out here. Not much worth stealing. Shit yeah. Mayor Cobb. I like the sound of that. Joe will then ask you to kill Ringo. You go settle things with Ringo and put a bullet between his eyes while I round up my crew and let them in on the plan. Go to the gas station and kill Ringo and report back to Joe. God damn it! Good. We'll still need a plan before we rush the town. Joe will then ask you to gather supplies from Chet and Dart Mitchell. Down the old doctor and the store owner for some stuff we'd be in good shape. Once you're done with that stuff, or none of it, say the word and we'll make our move. After this dialogue, you will then need to kill Joe and his entire gang. Doing so will bug the quest out. <laughs> Head over to the general store and ask him to donate some supplies. You will need a skill of 25 and either speech or barter to achieve this. What? Why the hell would I want to do that? Alright, alright. I've got some extra leather armor and spare ammo for you. Don't hurt anybody if you don't have to, alright? After convincing him to do so, you will gain some ammo and a suit of leather armor as well as some XP. You will then be able to choose this option infinitely, allowing you to gather infinite leather armor and XP. You will also then be able to sell all the leather armor to vendors across the Mojave. The second method is the Casino Chips glitch. Before doing this method you will need a minimum of 33,000 caps or more. You can either gather the caps by selling all the leather armor from Chet or another option is to head to the gun runners and kill the two guards that are stationed outside. You will be able to loot their combat armor and weapons which you can then sell to the Vendatron. Fast travel away and wait 3 in game days. Return to the gun runners and you will find more guards to spawn which you can kill and gather their items infinitely until you have enough caps. Another option is to be banned at all the main casinos, I have a guide on how to do this which you can watch here. After you've gathered the caps necessary, head to any major casino and trade your caps until you have 33,000 casino chips. Once you do, drop all the chips from your inventory and you will see that the chips on the floor become a negative number. Pick the chips back up and you will notice that they are now not in your inventory. Speak to the cashier and you will still be able to turn your chips in for any currency you want. Turn the chips in and you can gain 33,000 plus caps each time allowing truly infinite amount of caps. And there we have the methods needed for infinite caps and XP within Fallout New Vegas. I hope you found this video helpful and as always, thank you for watching.